Action. Good morning. I'm Yuan Jiesu from University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. And my topic today is self-powered humidity sensor based on triple electric nano generator. I will introduce my work from the following four parts. There are over 400 toxic and harmful gases in the closed environment, such as the space, ship, aircraft, and the submarine. These toxic gases, including ammonia, nitrogen dioxide, and so on, pose a serious threat to the safety of humankind. For example, the ammonia leakage in the International Space Station, water vapor invaded the F-22, and also carbon monoxide poisoning in submarine. So therefore, it is highly desired to detect the harmful gases and water vapors in our daily life. Take Senzhou <coughs> spacecraft, for instance. The breathing air, the breathing air in the space capsule is comprised by the liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen, and water, in which the ratio is controlled by the oxygen sensor and many other sensors. At the same time, the air quantity and safety is monitored by carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and VOC sensors. You can see it. In addition. The humidity of the air will further influence the comfort level of our skin. So we can see that the spaceman's life relies on the gas sensor. As one of the most common used detectors, the gas sensor has been widely used in the field of environmental protection, industrial manufacture, security, food safety, and health care. In recent years, the air pollution is getting worse and increasingly endanger our health and security. As a result, develop, developing a dense three-dimensional and real-time gas sensor network for atmosphere monitoring is very important and meaningful. However, most of the conventional gas sensor is driven by the battery or external power source, which induce a high energy consumption. Considering the large number of the sensor in the sensor network, it is impossible for us to change the battery for every device in the network. It's a huge and impossible work for us. In contrast, the self part gas sensor is based on the environmental energy. It can convert the environmental energy into electricity, which induces low endu endurance, wide range for use, and uh, maintenance free. This advantage, uh, advantage makes the self powered technology an ideal solution for the sensor network. Started from 2012 and invented by Zhongli Wang from Georgia Tech. The triboelectric nano generator is capable of converting the mechanical energy into electric signals and help us to build up the self power sensor and the self power sensing system with the advantage of simple structure, high power output, no cost, and a wide application. In 2015, Dr. Wen from Georgia Tech designed a self powered echo sensor, a sensor based on <coughs> triple electric nano generator. It can harvest the mechanical energy from human breathing to generate the electric signal, which is proportional to the echo concentration. You can see that. And the researcher in University of Assam utilized the micros pyramid structure PDMS and uh, modified zinc oxide nanowire to develop nano generator for actively real-time hydrogen detection. As we all know, the conventional inorganic ceramic based gas sensors is based on the porous 
Porous adsorption effect, which require a high operation temperature above 300 centigrade, leading to low sensitivity, slow response, and high power consumption. So it is imp- it is so difficult to power the sensor network based on this kind of material. In contrast, the electronic polymers based gas sensor is based on the surface desorption effect. It can operate at the room temperatures and give give rise to high sensitivity, fast response, and low power consumption. This advantage lays the foundation of self-powered self-powered gas and humidity sensing at the room temperature. And here in our work we use the PVP and a reduced graphene oxide as the sensitive materials and the spring method was used to deposit the sensitive film on the surface of the inner digital electrodes followed by a heat in a driving oven and we can get the composite and the bilayer structured structured films and here is the measurement system you can see that we use the triple electric nano generator to con- connect with the resistance humidity sensors. And the sensor was located in the bottle of a saturated saline solution to provide different environmental humidity from 7% to 97%. And the measurement equivalent circuit is shown on the right. To investigate the frequency and uh, impedance response of the fabricate triple electric generators, we can see that the output voltage almost stays the same no matter how no matter how the frequency change and the output current is proportional to the frequency. As for the impedance, the output voltage goes up with the increasing resistance and the Current follows an operate treat, giving rise to a maximum power of 52.3 microvolt. The real-time humidity sensing behavior shows that for both capacity and uh, barrier gas sensor, their output voltage decreases with the uh, increasing humidity, <coughs> indicating that our devices are very sensitive to the environmental humanity. And according to the two fingers below, we can see that the sensitivity and the linearity for the composite film in red color is better than, than those for the bilayer films in black color. And, f- and according to the dynamic response curve, we can calculate the response times is 2.8 second and the recovery time is 3.5 second which is much faster than the other type of resistance humidity sensor and it, our device also has a very good repeat repeatability there are four cycles as for the selectivity and the stability as you can see from the experiment data that the response to water was at least two times higher than response of to interfering gases, including hydrogen, sulfur, ammonia, acetone, and hydrogen. And the response declines in one month is less than three percent. So it has a very good long-term stability. To demonstrate the potential application of our device. A signal processing circuit was uh, integrated with uh, our sensors to contra- construct the self-powered humidity alert systems. You can see from the picture, if our system was subject to a no humidity, like seven percent, the high resistance of the sensor will result in a high voltage on the inverters which will result in the which will switch of the MOSFET at Q1 
and uh, extinguish the LED. On the other hand, if our sensor, if our systems was subject to a high humidity environment, the low voltage applied on the inverter will switch on the MOSFET and the light hub LED, delivering a visible signal showing that our system was in a high humidity environment. Most importantly, this system need no power source, need no batteries, it is totally self-powered. So last but not, not the least, we also look into the sensor mechanism. The sensor behavior is based on the coupling effect of a sweating effect and water-induced aerialization. In conclusion, a local self-powered humidity sensors was constructed by combination of a triple electric generator and a resistance humidity sensors for spontaneously moisture detection at a room temperature and a high response, fast response speed, a good repeat ability and the excellent long-term stability of the chip. Through a signal processing circuit, a self-powered alarming system was developed for real-time monitoring the environment moisture. The sensing behavior is based on the coupling effect between the sweating effect and the water-induced aerialization. That's all of my presentation. Thanks for, for your attention. Any questions?